Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. Today we are going to start lesson 12. Analysis of Chichibox Pro Supports Editing Function, Episode 3. Support Parameters Description. Middle. Refers to the middle part of the support, connecting the top and bottom. What are those parameters? Shape. It refers to the shape of the middle support part. There are three options, prism, cube and cylinder. Upper diameter, the upper diameter of the middle part of the support. Lower diameter, the lower diameter of the middle part of the support. Angle, the minimum angle between the middle part and the top part of the support. The angle differs the support form even in the same position. The middle part, which is connected to the top and bottom, is in the most conspicuous place of the support and is also the main part of the support, and it also can be modified by adjusting the parameters of the top and bottom diameters. There are two ways to edit the middle part of the support. First, you can directly set the parameters through the support setting panel or visualization window. Second, click the edit support option or the shortcut key E to switch to the editing state, and then select the supports that need to be edited, then set the value in the settings panel or visualization window. Please note that the angle, small pillar shape cannot be edited if you are editing supports, and the boxes will be in gray. Similarly, when you are editing the small pillar, the small pillar shape parameter is not editable. The upper depth and lower depth parameters can be customized. Small pillar shape refers to the shape of the small pillar support. There are three options, sphere, cone and none. Diameter refers to the diameter of the small pillar. The larger the value of this parameter, the thicker the pillar is. In some detailed parts of the model, we can choose to add pillars with minor diameters. Upper depth, the depth of the upper end of the small pillar. Lower depth, the depth of the lower end of the small pillar. Small pillar support is also one of the Chichibox Pro support types, which can be attached to the model directly at the upper and lower ends. Or the lower end can be attached to the middle trunk of other supports. In the latest version of Chichibox Pro V1.2.0, the small pillar can also be attached to the top of the support. Meanwhile, we added small column auto snapping function and adsorption radius customization to the advanced settings. The small column auto snapping function means that the small pillar will automatically attach to the top of the supports within the adsorption radius we set. Of course, if we turn off the auto snapping feature, the pillars can still be added manually to the model or to the middle of other supports. The adsorption radius is the maximum radius between the upper end and lower end of the support when the auto snapping function is enabled. After you turn on this function, if the added support is beyond the range of adsorption radius we set, the software will automatically generate a separate support, and the top end parameter of this support will be the size of the generated small pillars parameter. Also, Chichibox Pro version 1.2.0 supports the shortcut key to enable or disable these functions. When the auto snapping function is on, a small icon of a U-shaped magnet will be displayed in the small pillar support panel. We can use this button to quickly switch the function, and it will be more convenient when adding supports. Alright, today we talked about the parameter setting of the middle part of the support. In the next section we will learn about the bottom and raft part of the support. Stay tuned. Okay. That's all for today. I hope you all enjoyed the video and learned something useful. Chichibox Pro runs on Mac and PC, and we are still updating new functions. Waiting for our next section of the tutorial. Thank you very much. See you next time.